I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis, and today I'm going to show you something that might change the way you tune your quads out in the field. Um, for years, I've been using something like the Mac Pro here, and it's quite big, it's quite heavy, and I have taken it out to the field with me. And just about everyone at most times during the day, during our flight sessions, they've always asked, do you have your laptop with you? And I usually say no, because I don't want to bring it out. It's gigantic. So I have something here that I found on GearBest's website, and I asked for one of these to show you guys because this little guy is running Windows 10. It has up to a five hour battery life on it, and it has a little mini keyboard and full color screen on here. This is super cute. Look at how small this thing is. And I can run all the popular Chrome apps on here. I can run B heli suite i can run beta flight clean flight i can also run black box configurator and any other type of apps on here i can do internet browsing it doesn't have a wi-fi camera on here so you don't have to put a little piece of tape on there and be paranoid about being spied on so there's no pictures that you can take with it uh, but it does have a pretty basic function and that function is taking it out in the field and being able to edit your pids or pid tune right there on the fly or make some important changes you don't have to go all the way back home so Let's go ahead and put this one on the bench. We'll take a little closer look at this little mini laptop. Now here is a little closer look at it and I like it because it doesn't have a logo on top. It's kind of logo free on the top and it is called the GPD Pocket Mini Laptop. UMPC, UMPC, whatever that means. Maybe there's a tech guy out there that'll let us know. Uh, but it does have a 3.7 volt, 7,000 milliamp battery inside there, and it runs up to about five hours, which is pretty cool. I can watch Netflix on it up to about five hours, uh, which I was I was doing last night. Actually, I was watching Tally Dega Nights with uh, Ricky Bobby. It was pretty cool. Now it is an aluminum exterior shell, and it does have uh, some pretty cool features built into it. Right on the side, right here. Uh, I have a few features. I have USB-C right there, which is a newer type of USB. We also have a micro HDMI port, which is killer. I love it that it has that. And it has a headphone jack right here if you're trying to watch movies on the couch without disturbing the kids or uh, your parents. Now you also have a USB port right here for hooking up to Betaflight to tune your quad, which is super awesome. So I can just plug in my Android cable right there and hook it up to my quad. Now you're looking at the bottom of the unit and it does have four little rubber feet so when you put it upright on the table it has a nice feel when you set it down uh, on the bench. You just go ahead and open up this and I'll show you the keyboard. It's a non-traditional type of keyboard so typing on this it takes a little bit of time to get used to. If you are someone who types 400 words a minute or something like that this might not be the best traditional typing setup um, but for running Betaflight um, or running BL Heli Suite it's totally applicable. Um, so you also have a little trackpad movement right here. It's kind of a little motion oriented joystick for the cursor and you have little left click and right click here just like you have on most PCs. Now it is running Windows 10 which I find super awesome. If you press on the power button, press on it and hold, it will start up this little mini laptop. And you do have up to a seven inch screen, I believe on this one, and it's about a half pound in weight. So this is perfect for just throwing into my bag. Now on the setup of this machine, when I first turned it on, it was kind of cool because it did have this voice prompted setup. It didn't work perfect, but I was able to say yes, no, next, and make decisions right there on the screen. Uh, what's also kind of cool about this little laptop is that the screen is also a touch screen. So if you don't want to use this kind of pain in the butt little device right here, which takes some getting used to, you can actually just tap the screen, which is awesome. And since it is running Windows 10, it seems like every time I turn on Windows, it wants to do some kind of update for Windows, uh, protecting us from the evil hackers out there. Now, aside from Windows, it'll also run Ubuntu, Ubuntu, uh, it's just another Linux type of operating system. If you guys are wanting to run that, you can install that on here. And by the way, it does have an X7 Z8 750 processor inside here. So it's not the best processor in the world, but it's gonna be big enough to run small type of games and watch movies and surf the internet, no problem. And when you first get to the startup screen, it looks like this. And inside, aside from the processor, you have eight gigabytes of RAM on this and 120 gigabyte hard drive inside this little guy so I'll go ahead and hit that button there enter it shows you JD there and I can type in my pin number here and it'll go ahead and let me into Windows 10 
And now I can access Chrome and Betaflight and all that good stuff. And now here you can see I'm on the desktop and look at that. It's like a full fledged Windows machine on this little mini computer. Just to give you a little close up, it has that traditional bar across the bottom showing your icons over here for your battery status, your Wi-Fi status, your keyboard and the time and date on there. You also have voice activation over here on this side, which is kind of neat. You can ask it to go to uh, open different apps or open a certain website you want, opennetflix.com, and it'll do all that for you, uh, which is kind of neat. You also have access to the actual hard drive going into uh, your PC over here. If you double click that, it'll open up the hard drive and it'll show you desktop downloads, pictures, documents, music, and videos, just like any traditional Windows machine. But what we're all really here for is we're here for, I'm just going to use the touch screen there and make that go away. What we're all here for to see is beta flight in operation. Now, this is pretty neat. I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my USB cable. And I'll go ahead and open up Betaflight and I'll just use a little touch screen action there for that. There it goes. And I'll hook up my USB cable to my quad. And I've had other laptops that for some reason, other tablet with Windows on there, it didn't work with the uh, old school USB cable. So now I'm able to connect. I can just go ahead and use the touch screen there connect to Betaflight and look at that. Now I'm loaded up and if I was out in the field or somewhere without power, I got this little pocket computer to edit my PIDs. I can go ahead and enable expert mode here. If I want to use this trackpad, sort of little uh, joystick control, you can disconnect. Uh, it's going to show you all of your different information in here for ports. You can go down to configuration. PID tuning and receiver channel maps, everything is going to be in here for uh, adjusting your modes, motors, you can do motor testing in here, all the same stuff you can normally do in beta flight, but right here on the mini PC, which is super awesome. You also, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you have the CLI prompt at the very bottom. Uh, and when you're ready to uh, save your changes, you can go ahead and save and it's gonna save out to your quad, pretty cool. But that's pretty cool, I have a full-fledged version of Betaflight right here, just the same exact version as I do on my larger laptop, which is really, really awesome. Now, aside from being able to tune my quads and make changes on the fly out in the field, I can also do things like check my email, I can go open Netflix, I can open Chrome, I can do any type of internet browsing that I want. So I, I think this would be a pretty good um, little laptop for basic things uh, like internet browsing, maybe some light gaming, or if you're on a plane and you want to watch a movie and they don't have those little screens in the back of the seats, you can use this to watch Netflix uh, as long as you can connect. But I have all my Chrome apps here all ready to go, my BL Heli and Beta Flight right there. I can add Clean Flight or any of those Chrome apps that I want. I can also go over to Netflix here, and I already had it open last night, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you Netflix and... I'm watching, so I'm going to go to that, and there's the Netflix screen. I can just scroll down with the arrow keys. You can also hook up an external mouse to this, which is super nice. Just going to scroll up here. We can watch Trailer Park Boys or uh, whatever. Now let's see if I can pull up the Talladega Nights that I was watching last night. And I'll just go ahead and open up Talladega Nights, and I'll show you how the playback works. It's kind of cool too because you do have speakers on this little guy and it also comes with headphones so you can plug these in and they look very similar to the Apple headphones by the way. I can make this full screen if I want. I can turn up the sound. It actually goes pretty loud so listen to that. Nice. So that's Netflix, and you can also go to other various websites, obviously, and uh, do some internet browsing, but it's pretty cool. It comes with Internet Explorer already on it, but I prefer Chrome, so I installed Chrome. Now, also, if you don't want to use this keyboard and you want to use something that's on screen, if you go down here to the bottom right and you click on this little keyboard icon, it's going to bring up the virtual keyboard right here. So you can use your touch screen and you can just type in a website right there uh, really quickly. So if you're not digging this one, you can go for this one. Either way, you have options to use different keyboards there.
Now I know some of you guys might be saying, well, this is a, it's too small for me. I prefer a bigger screen. I prefer a 15 inch or a 13 inch screen. Uh, well, if you're comparing it to something like an iPhone 7, which is a pretty large screen for a phone, I'm usually looking at this all day long. Um, moving up to this one, this is just as easy to look at, if not easier. And it's kind of nice because it lasts up to five hours. Uh, my iPhone battery is constantly dying, uh, but this is small enough that I could just close it up and put it in my field bag and take it out in the field. And I don't have to worry about using um, some type of Betaflight um, compatible apps on the iPhone that just don't have all the full features of the full blown Betaflight. So a uh, pretty cool little laptop and uh, under $500 for this one for this little uh, mini GPD pocket laptop. I think it's pretty cool. Just wanted you guys to see this one and uh, give you a quick overview and review of it. So far, it's awesome. I absolutely love this thing, especially since it does have an HDMI port on here. I can have movies coming out of the HDMI ports directly to my TV, so if I do dump any videos over to this machine, I can share it on friends' television. And the charge adapter for this is pretty standard. It has US plugs on the top for AC outlets and it has a USB type C connection on the bottom. You just plug one side in and this side goes into the little mini laptop. Now it also does include a screen protector in here which sticks onto the screen and you can still use the touch screen with this but I'm definitely gonna peel this off and stick it on the screen to make sure I don't get any scratches on the screen. And you also get a little user manual in here with all the specs on board. And overall, it does its job. It does have a little built-in fan as well, so it does keep itself cool, air in through here and out the bottom. It doesn't get super hot in my hand or in my lap when I'm using it, so uh, that's a big change from any of my Mac laptops that usually get so burning hot I have to um, put them on some type of stand. But this one is pretty cool. It's small, it's compact, it's super, super tiny and portable for my field bag. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be using this out in the field. I'm gonna take along a USB cable and and I won't have any problems tuning my quads anymore. If somebody asks me if I have a laptop, I'm gonna tell them yes, because I'm gonna bring this one along with me. Uh, way better than bringing along my 15 inch, which I never do. So pretty awesome little computer. I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, <laughs> how awesome things are getting in the tech industry is uh, pretty cool. It's the smallest laptop I've ever used or I've ever seen. So I think if you're looking for something that's very simple, bare bones laptop for using for internet surfing or tuning quads out in the field, this is definitely something you should check out or look at. I'll try to include some kind of coupon code down below so you guys can get a discount. Uh, maybe get this thing close to $400 would be a pretty nice deal on something like this. Uh, it's going on my trip. I'm just about to go on a trip. So I'm gonna take this on the airplane with me and uh, use it while I'm out on the road. Look forward to uh, testing it out further for you guys. So thanks again for watching, you guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.